What's up YouTube? My name is David. This is Fish Visions. Thank you guys so much for clicking the video. So today I will be testing whether or not your tap water slash sink water is safe for fish slash reptiles. So today we will be testing out with actual water testing kits. So let's get straight into the video. So I was thinking what's the best day to test this? On that feeding day. So here we have my one last ready, baby ready slider named Maddie. This is her 20 gallon tank. It does have a heater. This is, I've had reptiles for years, so I know everything how to do with this, but I've never actually done a water change. A lot of people say sometimes they don't even do water changes, you know, they just add water when they need to. I got some chemicals over here. Not really chemicals, but you know, good stuff for the reptiles. So we're gonna be doing a water change. So that's the best day to test whether tap water is safe for turtles. So let's get straight into it. Okay guys, I know the, the, the lighting's pretty bad in here, but this, that's the water that was from it. What I'm gonna do is quickly just about fill this up. So guys, this is where it gets juicy. I got some test strips to test the ammonia, the nitrite, nitrate, the hardiness of the water, how hard the water is, the chlorine, the, al the alkalinity, and the pH level. And those are all the best things, the most important things you need. So first, this is straight from the tap water, straight from my sink. We're going to use a test strip and test ammonia in the water. Now this, I have not done anything to this. All you have to do is put it in here. Swish it around for about 10 seconds. 2,000 years later. And what I'm gonna do, hold it right here. So I don't know how well you can see, but I did touch it a little, so it gave it a little green tint. But it's between, it's actually between a mix of, you know, it's a mix between uh, ideal and just a little bit of, of stress. So it's between these two. It looks a bit different in person, and I touched it and it gave it a little bit more tint. But that's what some, you know, of the uh, chemicals that you can buy will help with that. So more or less, you know, I would buy something that helps with ammonia, but test your water and uh, see how safe it is. So this one is the seven pack to see now how is the water. So all I have to do is put it in just for a second and take it out. So our local water is actually very hard water. So, um, yeah, it's okay. it's not the best, but let me tell you what it is. You may not be able to see it so well right here, but the nitrate is ideal. The nitrite is beyond safe, so it's perfect. Oops, wrong, wrong one. Now we're on fresh water. The water is between soft and very, it, yeah, it's between soft and hard, but that's uh, basically what our local area's water is like. So, but it's fine. There is actually maybe, maybe it's, there's no chlorine to very little chlorine in this. The alkalinity is between uh, probably moderate and ideal. So that's very good. And the pH, it's, uh, it's not acidic, which is good. It's a uh, pro, I would say it's between 7.2 and 7.8. So guys, after many of the possibly confusing things that I've said, basically go out, buy a water tester, test your tap water, and see uh, how your uh, how your tap water uh, looks like. So say you have uh, maybe a little bit of chlorine and you didn't know that, then you can buy a uh, chlorine remover. But say you have zero chlorine, then you don't have to waste money on chlorine remover. You can spend money on things helping the al alkalinity and your pH level, things like that. So make sure you just test your tap water and see what it's actually like instead of buying a ton of things that aren't necessary. Floating on top, guys. That's really sick. Look at that. Now that's a bigger. This one's a big red eared slider. This one's probably close to three quarters bigger. Not exactly double the size bigger, but 
three quarters bigger than my other one. Okay guys, so we're gonna bring this guy home. He's gonna replace Paul. He's looking really good and active. This guy seems really healthy. The bottom of his shell looks good. Whoa, what's going on, visionary fam? So we are back at the house. So we have our baby slider. So let me quickly show you him. This is our baby new red-eared slider. He is a bit bigger than my other ones, as you can tell, maybe. But uh, all right, here he is. And you guys are gonna have to stay till next video to see what we name him and to see us put him in the tank. So guys, sorry about the music, but we got the positive comment shout out. That's gonna be the end of the video. So the positive comment shout out goes to Koi Boy Vlogs. Always love the videos, stay positive as always. Thank you, Koi Boy. It's a little tongue twister. And if you guys would like to be featured in a future video, all you guys have to do is drop down a positive comment below. My name is David, this is Fish Vision. Find your vision and follow, be a visionary, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next video. Peace.